Hello, everybody. This is Jay Days from Dimension TLC and our special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, guys. It's me, Star Martin. What's up? What's up? Oh, my gosh. Y'all don't know how excited <laughs> we are to be doing this interview today. We got really great questions, and okay. we are living for it, you guys. Living. So, um, the first question was, how did you meet your godmother, Lisa Lefty Lopez? I met her through my cousin, who she was managing as, like, a solo artist. She was turning her into um, a solo artist, and she brought her home, and I guess she just liked me or fell in love with me, and she, I just heard that she was like, yeah, I was like, I'll be her godmother, and it was just history after that, literally. That That is really cool because a lot of people, they didn't really know that you were Lisa's goddaughter. They knew of Tren from um, Natina Sun from Black, and they knew of Snow, um, which was her friend Trené, but they, yeah. really didn't, they really didn't know, which was so cool that we have more um, of Lisa's family here um, because – you are Lisa's family, and Lisa loved yeah. all of loved loved her family, and she definitely loved her godchildren. Yeah. So, um, so tell us, what are you working on um, currently? Right now, I'm working on my EP. It's called Foreplay. So I'm finalizing everything as we speak. Literally texting my manager every day finalizing everything so that we can put this out before the summer so that it can just go up after that, you know? <laughs> Most definitely. Um, my favorite song is pregame, actually. Um, I love that song. I listen yes, to that's it. one of I'll... my favorites. Yes, to, to turn up to. Perfect. Perfect for that. Definitely. Um, I, like, I was just listening to it one day, and I was like, oh, like, this is my jam. This is one of my <laughs> songs, my personal favorite. So um, I'm happy you love it. I'm happy. Yeah. And, you know, whatever you do, you know, that Dimension TLC always has love for Star Martin, y'all. So definitely stream her music, buy her music, and just show her love just because she she's very genuine and we're very happy to have her with us today. So she's definitely like a star- I feel like I really identify with Lisa, like, the older I get. So I'm really into, like, turn-up, pop type of things. So pregame, I feel like it's a perfect song for the summer just to, you know, like, and I feel like it embodies her a bit just with the colors and how crazy that it's going to be. Um, the video is going to be coming out soon. So you guys will just definitely enjoy that. So I hope that you can see what I what I saw with that. Most definitely. And you guys heard it here first that the pregame music video is coming shortly, coming soon. Um, yeah, pregame gives me hot vibes. Hot was on Lisa's solo album, Supernova, and that's what it kind of reminds me of because that's kind of a turn-up song as well. So it just gives me that vibe. So I definitely yeah, I get where that, you're coming from. Yeah, I hope that it, it feels that way for everybody else. <laughs> um, another question is, what impact has Lisa made in your life? Well, when I was younger, I didn't really understand, like, astrology just because my 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 family wasn't into things like that. So she was into a lot of uh, heavily. I didn't even notice that she was into it until I um, watched The Last Days of Left Eye um, when I was a bit older. I watched it a, a few times when I was younger, but until I got older, I didn't really understand. So... You know, I feel like I can identify with her, like, just on that level alone is so much because it's just, like, a soul connection that she would even choose me, and I wouldn't even think that would be the first thing, like, the last thing that I would be doing, and I'm into it. So I I can just, I feel her definitely um, guiding me into different things. Also with the music, like, music is just an outlet, and she wanted just to be heard and things to be seen from her perspective. So that's how I kind of, I feel like we identify for sure. Definitely. And I, we, we do definitely get left eye vibes from you. We were looking at your photo shoot <laughs> and we're just like, whoa, she kind of does resemble Lisa in a way. Um, Thank you with so much. The photo She's beautiful. Shoot. 
definitely both of you are very beautiful and talented women in the music industry. Um, So which leads us to our next question. What is your favorite part of the music industry? Oh, it would have to be just um, the teamwork that goes into everything. So I feel like the project is all about the whole, like, um, the process of it because you get to interact with your team so much. And that's, that's the thing that gets you a little bit closer to everybody, just kind of going through things with people because, you know, just with any set or something, something is always going to be unexpected. So those little things keep us together just because, you know, I mean, I'm just all about family and good vibes, and I just feel like the people that I meet in the industry that are in Atlanta, at least, that I've met are really good with just keeping everything on a positive note, and that's really all I ask. Definitely. Um, I definitely get where you're coming from as um, definitely the teamwork piece, because you definitely have to have a good team behind you um, in the music industry. And um, is there anyone you would like to collab with um, in the music scene? Or um, I yes. know you do <laughs> acting too. So who would you like to collab with and why? Oh, so in music, I definitely need to collab with Drake ASAP because that's like my blood brother. I feel him again on a soul level. Also, Kanye West and Jay-Z, they are geniuses. I'm like really big into like intellectual people. So, um, like I get like they feed my spirit, so I just need to collab with them. They are like artistic geniuses. Um, and I think with acting, who I would really love to work with would be Will Smith because he's like phenomenal, hands down, <laughs> hands down. He's funny too. Yes. Oh my God, he's just like versatile, for real. Um, do you have a favorite Lisa moment? Um, whether you being with her or a TLC left eye moment or any type of Lisa moment, really? Um, okay, yes, I actually do. I always think of these two, like, all the time. So I remember, um, like, we were in a horse carriage because she came to my birthday party, and we had a carriage, um, like, a, a carnival theme party. And I performed my songs and stuff, and afterwards we were in the carriage, and all the kids were in there. And just in my mind, I don't know how I knew that, like, the video that they shot for Waterfalls or it was, like, you know, I don't know how I knew that it was just, you know, green screen as a young child. I don't know. I just put it together in my head. So the kids were like, oh, how was the video? How did you turn into water and all of that? And me and her just looked at each other and laughed, like, oh, these little kids. But I, I was a kid, too, so it was so funny. <laughs> but that would have to be my favorite. Okay. Is there any other moments you would like to share? Um, I really just remember her always telling me that I was really beautiful and really smart and I could do whatever I wanted to do. She would always stress that. I just remember that anytime I saw her and she would just like load me with love. She would always hug me. She was really hands on. I think she, you know, was just really sensitive to just people, period. And she kind of just saw something in me, I guess. So she really, you know, anytime I was with her was, would be love. So I always cherished every moment. Definitely. And um, going into TLC, we all know that Lisa was the very creative and a mastermind behind um, TLC as well. Um, yeah. Do you have a favorite TLC song at all? Um, I would have to say, like, again, I would have to say Waterfalls. It's just something that I just, I just associated with my childhood. It was just like a banging summer. <laughs> like, so I like that. I love that song. Waterfalls, it would have to be. Um, and did you hear Waterfall or TLC's last LP? Have you heard any songs or at all from that no, album? No, I have. Since they've been um, just a, a group of two, I have not heard anything. I've um, seen clips on Instagram, but I haven't just had the chance to sit down and listen to it. But I definitely plan to. Um, definitely, and Dimension TLC will hook you up. Um, it's it's a very good album for definitely yes. being the two of them. Um, bittersweet that Lisa wasn't on it, but Lisa yes. is definitely in spirit on the album. Yes, so yes. Definitely. Um, TLC, um, do you have any, like, favorite – did you guys meet TLC or at all? 
Well, I just always met just Lisa alone. She would just come to my parties or, like, just come around um, whenever her and my cousin would just come in town to, you know, touch bases with family. Um, she would go out to the club with my mom and my aunt and stuff like that. So it was like, you know, she was just really cool with the family. Um, I never I never met the other uh, I never met Chili or t Ross. I never met them, but I definitely wanted to. And I think I, I'm still going to try to reach out <laughs> to just see if we can just sit down, you know, and just kind of reminisce, really. Yes. And do you have a favorite song? Um, just in general, what's your favorite go-to bop that you just jam out to? Ooh, right now at this very moment. <laughs> Um, it would probably be, I've been listening to a lot of Cardi B. She's a Libra like me, so I can kind of relate to her. So I think it would be some Cardi B. I think it'll be Ring by her because I'm like, you know, sensitive and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. And Cardi B is definitely going in it in the music right. scene currently. Yeah. She's definitely taking her spot. Um, also, do you have a favorite Left Eye song? at all did you ever hear her solo music um I always I I have heard a lot of her solo music I have not I don't have just like a favorite just because I like like I said I anytime I think of her I think of it's just love and I just kind of cherish everything everything and so it's just on my playlist I have a lot of TLC on my playlist and it just kind of plays and you know I just enjoy it so I wouldn't say I have just a specific favorite but I definitely play them out (laughs) um and did you ever listen to Lisa's um, Supernova album or her The Row remix album of Supernova? Excuse me? So, I can say it one more time. Did you ever um, listen to her Supernova album or her remixed Death Row record version of Supernova? Um, I have heard a, a lot of off of her Supernova album. Um. I don't think I've heard the Death Row remix, though. I don't think so. Yeah, it's very um, very East Coast vibe. It was remixed after she passed on because she was in the middle of remixing uh-huh. an album and working um, with Death Row. But if you could have the chance to, would you link up with some of her other musical um people that she's worked at, worked with, like her group Black or yes. Egypt? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I definitely would love to. Like, I, that would be, like, super awesome. If they were open to doing that, that would be dope. And we, I'm knowing we can make something that's, like, super hot. Definitely. Um, that would be so cool to see yes. Star Martin in Egypt or Star Martin in Black. Um, yes. <laughs> Speak it into existence, honey. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what do you do to keep Lisa's legacy alive um, in general? Um, like I said, I practice my, I, I stay true to my um, spiritual beliefs. Um, I hate to make it about like spiritual things or whatever, but I that's what I think that she really just wanted to be true to who she was. And she didn't want just the filters of the modern world to affect how she was and who she was as a soul. So I think just me evolving as a spirit and as a soul being and um, um, using my my awareness to speak with her through spirit, um, I feel like that's just leading, just living her legacy, period. She just wanted people to be who they were, and she just wanted, she really just wanted a a better world for everyone. So I feel like she instilled that in me um, some type of way. And I think from from me just proceeding to do, whatever I am doing to to become who I'm going to be and become great. I think that's the legacy and that's what she wanted. Um, yeah. Does that kind of answer the next question we have here? Um, your musical influences in the industry? Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Like mostly her for sure. For sure. Um, also Beyonce, a lot of Beyonce, of course you can't miss that. Um, and, uh, well, I think Beyonce was really heavy. And then I listened to a lot of country music as a child and a lot of Cher and Dixie Chicks and things like that. Yes, yes, yes. I love the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> I love them um, so much. Um, yeah. 
What do you do on your free time? Ask a fan. Um, I usually like just record songs, like record myself, like um, write songs. And what else would I do? I I try to cook a little bit, but I'm failing miserably. <laughs> and then I also um, just like to watch documentaries, honestly, about aliens and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm I'm pretty weird. It, I just like a, a lot of different things. I just like to feed my mind at all times. So you might think that I would be like doing something cool. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, another question: Do you play video games? Oh yes, oh yes, honey. I play video games. I like to play Grand Theft Auto, and it's really, honestly, only to beat up the the, um, the citizens of the city. <laughs> so I'm, like, using that as, like, an outlet for whatever reason. But, yes, I love to play video games. I also like the Sims games just because I feel like I have, like, this complex where I want to be in control. So the Sims are, like, little avatars, and you can kind of, like, build them a house and stuff. So I love that game. I love that too. I guess it lets you um, do a lot of stuff that's very creative. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> another question on our list is um, Have you ever had any of Lisa's cooking? And if, what did she make for you? Oh my God, I've never had any of her cooking that I know of. Like, I probably have eaten something that she's cooked, but I didn't know it was of her. But, no, I wish so. Now I'm mad. <laughs> also, another question is, the fans would like to know if they can ever send you fan mail. Yes, please. Please do. You can um send it through email or you can mail it. Um, I'll put my P.O. box in my bio and feel free to send me whatever you love. Like, I would love that. That That is cool. I... I love when fans, you know, talk about fan mail because it's like you don't really get to see a lot of it. You get to see a lot of it um, digitally, but having some, some fans sending you things through the mail, that's really dope. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I'm like, it's such a new age, so I would love fan mail. It would be so, like, nostalgic to me. Um, what was your favorite high school moment? Um, My Favorite high school moment. Um, hmm. Well, I always used to throw house parties, so I had an epic party once, and I think that that was that would be my favorite because it was just like the whole party spent the night at my house after, and it was so cool. <laughs> Dang, you seem like a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I used to be. I'm more like an old lady now, so I like to stay in it. I I feel ya. Um, what is your favorite thing to do other than singing or acting? Um, I would have to say doing makeup is definitely one of them. Um, I used to do makeup for money, like, before I was, like, here. <laughs> and also, like I said, I like to just read and watch documentaries, honestly. Like, I could watch documentaries all day. And the fans would like to know a little bit about yourself, if you would like to tell them, you know, where you're from or whatever. Or, um, okay. Yeah. So I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois. It's right by St. Louis. It's in Illinois, though. So a lot of people think it's like Chicago, but it's not. Um, and um, I just grew up in a family where on both of my dad, my dad and my mom's side had music on it. I wasn't really raised in a church where it would be like singing at the church. My people were um, Jehovah's Witnesses, so it was nothing like church, traditional church. So I had to learn through just being in the studio and like kind of um, like polish myself naturally, like by myself. So once well, my dad was in jail whenever I was coming up, and I went to acting school, even though I wanted to just pursue my music, but my mom sent me to acting school, which was, like, one of the best things in my life that I did, and um, whenever I got out of acting school, I started to take my music more serious, came out, um, and then um, I'm here, so I'm doing it, and I'm loving it, and everything is going pretty good on this end, <laughs> and it's about to go down. <laughs> 
definitely. And when she says it's about to go down, y'all, it's about to go down. <laughs> Literally. Um, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I definitely would have to go to Egypt just because, and that's another way that we identify, <laughs> that I identify to Lisa. Um, I would go to Egypt just because I know that's where we started. And I just want to feel that energy and I want to just pray and kind of feel everything and take everything in and just feel that magic um, and that electricity because it's like a natural electricity there. So I have to check that out. A fan just sent in a question. This is a live question. They're okay. wondering if you can sing something for us, any song, just anything. Okay. I'll sing Karma because Karma is like the latest thing I put out. So I'm so cool on you. Let's get that out the way. This is bigger than me, yo. You go learn today. I love your lying ways. That's a deadly game to play. The tables be turning, and it's not in your favor, babe. Headed for destruction. You feel like it's nothing. Let me tell you something. Fuck you and every. Oh, I can't cut. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Okay, was that good though? Like a little. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> I love that. Um, Thank if you, you haven't it's heard. A little snippet of karma. If you guys haven't heard her single, definitely check it out. I be it is on iTunes. That's how I listened to it to the other day. Um, or you can find it on YouTube possibly as well if it's up there. Um, do you um, keep in contact with any of Lisa's family or um, Raindrop at all? Well, me and Raindrop literally just followed each other, so I'm planning on reaching out. If she's listening, yes, girl, I'm planning on reaching out and um, – I, I really didn't know, like, who to contact, honestly. My family, um, they they tell me, like, little things here and there, but I've never just really pressured them about it um, just because I don't know why. I felt like I had to get here first. <laughs> so I'm here now, and now I can go on and search for everything I need to search for because I'm definitely trying to link. Definitely. Um, Lisa Lisa's sister Raindrop did state in an interview that just um, dropped out a couple weeks ago that they are working on a Lisa biopic. Um, oh. So it's all about Lisa and her music plus a album to go with the biopic. Who would you would like to play Lisa? Because we all know Lisa in the Crazy Sexy TLC story was portrayed um, by the actor slash rapper Lil Mama. Who would you yeah. like to play? Um, Lisa in the biopic? Um, I definitely would pick myself, <laughs> number one. Um, just because I feel like I, just watching her documentary, I feel so close and so much like I can identify with it on like a level where I don't feel like other people know that that level or experience that level of life or that level of lowness or that level of um, not being heard. So I definitely will say myself just because I know that I'm a method actor and I can get into character and tune in with her and it will be the true, the trueness of what she would want. So for sure me. <laughs> would, you like, say? would you like to act out possibly like something Lisa would do at all to show the fans that, hey. <laughs> What's up? It's Lisa. Left up. No, I, don't, I really honestly... <laughs> I would have to take a minute and actually, like, you know, get into character a bit and then really see what she would be. Because, I, I, you know, with me, I have to do, like, the movements and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm actually going to do a video. You just gave me an idea. I'm going to do a video of me doing something that she would do, and it's going to be dope. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> and like I said earlier, you guys are hearing this now. We are here with Star Martin, an upcoming star. And the star is on the rise, definitely. Um, with um, the whole bunch of the community just showing. Um, are you still here? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so you would like something done for the girls um, in the community? Yes, and just. 
just people who go through trauma as a child and, and it's kind of not acknowledged. So I definitely want to get like a help center with, with certified doctors and psychologists and things like that to make, you know, everything, um, everything like going towards a step of being better as a, as a race or as a people really. Definitely. Um, if you had the chance to be featured on a left, left eye song, would you? Because there is a lot of unreleased left eye material out there. Um, the, either the estate has it or it's in the vault. But if you had the chance, would you? Yes, yes, of course. I would love to do that. Like, that would be something on my bucket list for sure. <laughs> Definitely. And do you have um, any last minute things you want to tell Lisa's fans, the Ionetic, um, at all? Um, I definitely want to tell them that they can always come to me for anything, any questions, any love, any whatever. Um, I am an extension of her. So any, any, you know, just anybody who loves her, you'll love me. And it's going to, it's just going up. Like I just can't wait to interact with everybody and go on tour so I, so I can meet everyone. So, um, thank you all for listening and just thank you for the support period. Definitely. And thank you for calling in, sir. We really appreciate it. And um, as you guys know, this is Lisa's 16th anniversary of her not being with us. But let's remember it not being a sad day, but a new star was born and also um, as a happy day. Lisa was a very happy person. So So, um, thank you so much, Star, for calling us and doing this interview. We would love to hear from you again. Um, Thank you so much. Yes, for sure, for sure. And I look forward to talking to you again. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Bye.